hello friends welcome to my new video today we are going to solve january 2018 question number one to ten so let's start the question number one was r rogers sells goods for cash how would the purchaser record this transaction in their books option a is cash debit purchases credit option b cash debit r rogers credit option c purchases debit cash credit and option d r rogers debit and cash credit the answer of question number one is purchases debit cash credit when a business sells goods for cash it debits cash and credits sales but when it purchases goods for cash then it debits purchases and credits cash clear next then comes question number two which of the following pairs of accounts always have debit balances option a assets and expenses option b capital and expenses option c income and assets option d liabilities and income the answer of question number two is a assets and expenses assets and expenses accounts always have debit balances and liabilities and income accounts have credit balances clear next then comes question number three where would a trader show trade discount option a cash book option b discounts account option c invoice option d purchases ledger the answer of this question is c invoice trade discount is an initial discount which are offered to a client while selling them goods so that's why it is shown in invoice while making sales okay next then comes number four a sole trader has included the purchase of a motor vehicle for private use as a business asset which double entry would correct this error option a capital debit motor expenses credit option b drawings debit motor vehicles credit option c motor expenses debit capital credit option d motor vehicles debit drawings credit the answer of this question is b drawings debit and motor vehicles credit next then comes number five a trader records purchases of 250 pounds in his books as 520 pounds what type of error is this number a commission number b compensating number c original entry number d principal the answer of this question is c original entry an error of original entry occurs when an incorrect amount is posted instead of the correct amount a particular example of an error of original entry is a transposition error where the numbers are not entered in the correct order for example cash paid to a supplier of 2140 pounds was posted as 2410 pounds always remember a good indicator for a transposition error is that the difference between the correct and a wrong figure is divisible by 9 that is 2410 minus 2140 equals to 270 if you divide 270 by 9 you will get 30 so 270 is divisible by 9 and if you take the example of this question 520 minus 250 is equal to 270 270 divided by 9 is equal to 30 so this one is also divisible by 9 so these kind of errors are called original entry or transposition error clear next number six which of the following transactions would affect a business's profit? A. Sale of a fixed asset at book value. B. Settlement of a business debt with a discount. C. Settlement of a business debt in full. D. Transfer of cash to the bank account. The answer of this question is B. Settlement of a business debt with discount. When a business's debt is settled by receiving a discount from the creditor, the profit increases. That's why this transaction would affect a business's profit clear next number seven at the end of the financial year a trader added monies outstanding for rent to the rent amount paid during the year to obtain the total rent for the year which accounting concept was being adhered to option a accruals option b business entity option c going concern option d materiality the answer of this question is a accruals the accrual concept in accounting means that expenses and revenues are recorded in the period they occur whether cash is involved or not so in this question at the end of the financial year a trader added the monies outstanding for rent to the rent amount paid during the year to obtain the total rent for the year which cannot be done because the monies outstanding for rent is that figure 
which arrives after deducting all the payments made to the landlord during the entire life from the actual amount of rent incurred in the entire life and if the trader adds this figure with the rent amount paid during the year it will not show the total rent for the current year say for example rent is 10000 pounds per month till that we assume that 36 months have passed okay so for 36 months the rent will be 360000 pounds out of 360000 pounds 220000 pounds is paid and out of 220000 pounds the trader have paid 20000 pounds this year so if the trader adds 20000 pounds the payment figure with the outstanding rent amount of 140000 pounds the amount will be 160000 pounds is it the trader's total rent occurred during this year no the incurred amount of rent during this year is 120000 pounds because the rent per month was 10000 pounds so for 12 months the rent will be 120000 pounds not more than that not less than that whether cash is involved or not whether the trader have paid the rent or not paid the rent okay if you have any questions regarding this matter please comment in my comment box i will try my best to explain you next then comes number 8 to whom do the reserves in a limited company belong option a creditors option b debenture holders option c directors option d ordinary shareholders the answer of this question is option d ordinary shareholders reserves include all items except share capital that are listed under the equity section of the statement of financial position which we call balance sheet of companies reserves therefore belong to the owners whom we call ordinary shareholders of the business who can use this reserve for the benefit of the company after taking decision in annual general meeting okay next number 9 where on a balance sheet would a proposed dividend be shown option a current asset option b current liability option c fixed asset option d long term liability the answer is option b current liability because it is a short term liability the liabilities which are short term they are shown under current liability clear next number 10 the following information was extracted from the accounts of simba limited year end 31st december 2016 2017 sales 120000 pounds 140000 pounds gross profit percentage 20% 25% net profit percentage 10% 8% what conclusion can you reach about simba limited option a closing stock has increased option b expenses have increased option c purchase prices have increased but selling prices have not option d the company has paid a large dividend the answer of this question is option b expenses have increased i have shown the calculation here please have a look the sales of 2016 was 120000 pounds 2017 was 140000 pounds gross profit percentage was 20 25 according to that the gross profit of 2016 will be 24000 pounds and 2017 will be 35000 pounds gross profit percentage have increased in 2017 this can happen due to rise in selling price per unit or fall in purchase value per unit or increase in closing stock anything can happen we can't be sure by seeing the gross profit percentage about what has happened then the net profit percentage was given 10 for 2016 and 8 for 2017 according to that the net profit will be 12000 for 2016 and 11200 for 2017 by seeing this we can say net profit have decreased in 2017 this is simply because of increase in expenses and for no other reason we can be sure this time because net profit is always affected by expenses that's why the answer of this question is expenses have increased clear if you have any questions please comment in my comment box i will definitely reply to your questions If you like my video please share with your friends and family like my facebook page subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can receive notifications about my latest videos thanks for watching bye bye